Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we will see how to prepare the risk assessment matrix. This one you can use it in your organization. And here are the risk description. We can add the risk number one and two likewise. And the risk caused by and the consequences will be in this column. And here we can update the risk owner, their name and role, their details and the incurrent risk that is without controls. Uh, the probability and impact of that risk uh, we can update here here we use the factors from very high to very low in the drop down list uh, we can select it from the drop down list and the risk rating will be updated automatically based on the probability and the uh, impact of this incurrent risk that is from the risk matrix then here will be the control procedures for the particular risk updated in this column the control owner and the name and role we can update here then finally after the control procedures the residual risk that is with control the residual probability and the impact will be updated and we can pick from this drop down list here from very high to very low finally the residual risk rating will be updated automatically in this column based on this residual probability and the impact after the control procedures this is the risk assessment this is the risk matrix based on probability and the impact very high to very low there are four different risks are here sustainable moderate severe and critical based on the probability and impact and this is the incurrent risk matrix before the control procedures we can count each kind of risk sustainable severe critical likewise for the each probability and impact for the very high from probability and very low from impact there are one risk from this risk matrix we can see in the risk assessment chart here for the very high probability incurrent risk impact medium so high and medium the risk rate is severe there is only severe one severe risk from high probability and medium impact we can see the count here in the incurrent risk matrix there is one risk likewise we can count how many risk are based on the probability and the impact from this risk assessment in the residual risk matrix as well this is after the control procedures we can count the respective risk from the residual risk there are two risks based on this uh, low probability and very low impact we can see this in the risk assessment see in the residual risk there are two residual probability under low category there are two residual impact and a very low category so residual risk rating for that probability and impact is sustainable so for this low and very low there are two risks under sustainable in the incurrent risk matrix there are two likewise we can count the incurrent risk and the residual risk so quickly we will see how to prepare this risk assessment matrix We have prepared the risk assessment table. Now we will prepare the risk matrix. Here we will prepare the table for the probability and impact, those factors.
we will uh, look up this from here this table now we got the probability and in fact that those factors now we will get the risk rating here and these are moderate and these are sustainable risks and these are severe and finally these are criticals we will assign colors for each uh, kind of risk here Now we will get the drop down list for this probability and impact on this particular table for this whole selection from the data menu, the data validation. This is list, so list from the source that is for the probability. Here we can pick the factors for the probability. For the impact, also we will take the drop down list the source is from impact list okay we can pick the factors for the impact from this drop down list the same as we will put the drop down list for the residual risk probability and the impact as well Now here we will assign the excel function to get that particular risk rate for the probability and in impact for this inherent risk using index function. So equal index the array is this risk matrix this array let's fix that comma the row number using match function the lookup value is the probability the lookup array for the probability is this array from the risk matrix. Let's fix that. Come up for the exact match, it is zero. Bracket close. Uh, then come up the, for the column number using again the match function. Lookup value is this impact for the risk that is from G6 cell. Come uh, the array, lookup array for the impact from the risk matrix, this array. Let's fix that array. Zero for the exact match. This is the index max we are going to use. In case if there is error, apply if error function before that. Now we will apply to this all row. Here we will use uh, the conditional formatting to get each different colors for the each different uh, risk type, moderate, severe and sustainable and critical. So we will select this column, conditional formatting, alt plus o plus d, the shortcut is alt o d. New rule will be from here first cell first risk and dollar sign only before the column. Column is not going to change, rows are going to change. If this is equal to sustainable, then the format color like green. Let's copy this formula and okay. The new rule again. If this is equal, moderate light yellow color again new rule paste that copied formula if this is severe light orange color again new rule paste that copied formula if this is critical this light red color okay we can see if this is critical red color if it is severe orange if this is moderate yellow if this is sustainable uh, green color for this risk same as we will assign the index function here in the residual risk and the conditional formatting as well
Now we will prepare the inherent rest matrix that is before the control. Let's copy this matrix. Okay, here we will get the factors for the probability and the infect from the table. Equal x3. Now here we will count the increment matrix from the risk assessment chart using count diffs function. We will select the criteria range from probability. Let's fix that criteria range and comma and the criteria is very high that is in the feed 14 cell here okay comma the criteria range 2 is for the impact that is from incurrent risk that is here okay let's fix that criteria range comma the criteria is this one very low that now we will count the total number of from incurrent risk for the probability and impact very high and very low Add dollar sign before the column here and dollar sign before the row number here. Right. But one thing we don't need zero here, so we will do one more thing copy this function and we will use if function. If this is equal to zero, print empty or else print that count is function let's close the if function okay done now the zero will not appear okay write this way and this way everything done now we will select this and from the format painter we will apply the format painter here now we got the number of incurrent risk from the risk assessment same as we will get residual risk numbers Now we will add count if function here as well. The criteria range is from the residual risk. Let's fix that. The criteria is from probability, the very high, that is phi 22. The criteria range 2 is this column. Let's fix that. Criteria 2 is this very low from impact Q21. Okay, let's put the dollar sign before P to fix the column here in the from the impact let's fix the row done same as we'll copy this if function before the count if function if this is equal to zero then empty or else the same count if function okay now write this to right and write this to down just we will select this and format painter let's apply here in the ratio dual risk from probability medium and impact low there's one risk see from probability high medium impact there are three risks you can see from residual risk probably there are three high from the impact there are three medium so there are three severe risks from residual risk likewise you can prepare the risk assessment matrix and in risk matrix and the residual risk matrix 